Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to go through and look at the Horturo Laser Master 3. Uh, it is a new, fairly new laser that has come out recently. It's a 10 watt diode laser and we'll go through some of the features on that. And then we'll also go through um, carving a number of different projects, um, including the rotary and uh, doing some slate, doing some wood, and uh, using the app that comes out with this. So stay tuned, we're gonna take, go through this, and then, uh, yeah, should be interesting. I'm having a lot of fun with this thing. All right, so let's talk about some of the features of the Rotoro uh, Laser Master 3. Um, so this was, uh, uh, Cinemall, Cinemall.com reached out to me and asked me to take a look at one of these and I agreed to do that. So, um, but, so they did provide this laser to me. Um, I did get the rotary, I did purchase that myself. Um, and we'll go through that further and down the video, but let's talk about a couple of the features. So. Uh, one thing is it does have it is Wi-Fi enabled or you can hook it up to a laptop or a computer so you can do either way um, I'm currently using Lightburn um, trying to there is also and it's I think $60 for Lightburn and then but there's also another free version out there I don't remember the name of it right now um, but we'll uh, there is a free version that you can run this with also along with the app um, that call I believe it's called uh, laser Explorer that you can download photos and do some simple text and um, clip art and stuff like that so if you're just trying to do a simple little project it hooks up wire wirelessly either on OS or on an Android system so that was kind of fun I did a couple little projects uh, I got a photo here that we'll look at a little bit later that I carved onto a piece of wood. So, um, so you do have a couple different ways to hook up to that. You've got an on 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 off switch here, which is your programming to hook up to your Wi-Fi. You also have a lockout switch, uh, or excuse me, a lockout key. So if you want to lock this out, um, you can do that. And then one of the things I do like is this uh, emergency stop button. So if something goes wrong, um, it's just not going the way you want it to, you can just hit that and uh, go ahead and close that all off. Um, I do like the look of this. Um, these are all custom, uh, rather than just using stock stuff off the shelf for your basic grid, they've actually made their own or ha had that made for them. Um, so it's a nice looking laser. Uh, one of the things is we do have laser assist, and I think I talk about that a little bit later. And we've got this cone in here that will, and it looks like I've been burning in there, so it looks dirty. So that needs to get cleaned. Put that back on there. I do have the leveler that um, I did. It doesn't come with the, or the height adjustment wheel. Um, the other thing it does, a couple other things it comes with, it comes with um, the hose for the air assist. It's got a little valve here to adjust the flow and a little bit of tubing. You also come with some sample stuff. So you've got some, some plywood, some masonite, some leather, some little business card sides, um, stuff that you can do some testing with. And it also does come with your glasses. So. Um, so all in all, you know, it comes out as a pretty complete prod, uh, system, and uh, yeah, so let's take a look at um, some of the features, take a look at some of the stuff I've done with this, and then we'll go from there. One of the things I want to do first is go through the app um, briefly that came with this. This is uh, called the Laser Explorer. It is a Android and uh, OS, iOS app that you download. So this was a, actually it was I think one of the first files I did. It was, I just uh, downloaded the app, went and grabbed a file off my phone, or actually off the iPad, 
dropped it in there, set up the size, and said run. So really, you know, uh, worked well. Um, it, it's a little hard. I had a little difficulty getting this thing to get started, but uh, reached out to tech support. They helped me through the Wi-Fi, and it's good to go. Here's one of the things I've been working on is these coasters and uh, it's out pretty good. So what I've been doing is I just did a uh, little circle the same size as this on, and I can barely see that on light burn here. And then I just do a lineup and then I just run a real quick circle around there and that gives me an alignment tool. See, I've done a couple of them. So I've been working on a couple different ones here. Um, that's our boat, and this is a friend's mine boat that I'm going to drop off for. And then um, some photos, and then I realized I had to reverse the image on these two. So this is the first one I did, and I was like, oh yeah, that's right, I have to reverse image on light burn to do that. The other thing I did is I found, and I'll put a link down to a... Um, another person on YouTube that had um, a file. So it's a burn file. So it goes, and you can't read it in here, but it's from 100% down to whatever, I can't remember what this is, and the speed. So you can see how it gets darker as it goes along. So, and that helped me kind of set my speed and uh, power on the laser. So yeah, so that's it's kind of fun. I've ordered out a bunch more of these coasters. Um, I think there'll be a fun thing to do and uh, share with people. All right, so the next thing I've done here, so I'm working on a little, uh, these little cutting boards that I picked up, their bamboo, um, and I'm doing a, a little gift for somebody. So one of the things is, um, because I'm cutting the wood, it gets pretty snowy, and I have to have, happen to have this six inch uh, inline duck fan I don't know if you can see it. Originally, I had a uh, my air conditioner vent going out the side of the door there. So short term, I've just got some, you know, this plastic pipe and down to four inch and six. I will uh, think of this. Eventually, I'll put a uh, build this into a case and uh, then hook up a switch. Because right now it's just plugged in. But another little project going ahead. So this next little spot is I um, uh, worked on the laser rotary and figured out how to do that. It's actually, uh, it has a direct plug on the back of the thing and a switch so you can switch off your Y and go to the rotary. Uh, that's pretty simple. Um, setting up uh, in light burn took a little bit of uh, work and, tr and working through understanding that there's a couple different videos out there that I found helpful and uh, we might put some links down on below on that but um, so this was just you know a way to play with the rotary um, th this is actually one of the features I'm really looking forward to uh, working with this so one of the features I opted to get was this adjustable uh, height adjustment to set your laser laser height normally it's got a bracket that goes on and that slides in here and then you just tighten it up and then they've got a little kick down leg that will so when you're setting your height you set that on top of your material um, this way I can get it dialed in closer and just kind of dial it in if I have to do any small adjustments I can do that um, so I thought that was something nice, but that was an, this normally doesn't come with that. The other thing is um, on the laser itself. Pull it off here. It's got a connection to go ahead and hook up for air assist that's built into the laser, and that is 
goes, it's a little cone that goes right into here for air assist. I don't have it currently in there. And I'll, um, when we do some cutting later, I'll uh, go through that and, and uh, see how much of a difference the air assist makes. So let's tighten that up and then I can do the uh, up and down adjustments, which is kind of nice. All right, so I've got another batch of coasters running in here in the background. I got four more being uh, put out. And then as soon as I'm done with those, I've got another four that I'm going to run out. And then uh, I've got some boxes that I'm going to be working on. Uh, and then the other thing, is I've got some ideas. And I've seen a couple other ones out there but for an enclosure that, for this that the uh, have a lid on the top. Uh, and then it would be kind of an open bottom and then a series of drawers um, slides that I can slide in some three-quarter inch material or, or different size material in there to get different heights so if I want to put that rotary in there um, I can do that without you know putting uh, little blocks underneath everything so I think that will be fun that will be something we can do on the CNC and create a cabinet for that and uh, I've got those ideas and we're going to see if I can put that together that'll be uh, a future video and then uh, yeah so I think we're gonna wrap this up here um, overall I'm very happy with the uh, laser it's been kind of a fun uh, learning experience this is the first time I've worked with lasers and uh, so thanks to Cinesmall uh, for sending the laser out for me and uh, so I can take a look at this Ortoro Laser Master 3 and uh, get started in it so yeah, we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.